Hello and good morning. Hope you're all having a lovely day. So, to start off this video a little differently, we're going to have a little screen recording. So, let's get this going. Screen recording. Let's go. So, a video I posted up the other day. Uh, we managed to get one comment from a person named at Donzi. Uh, been a great watch following your journey as a newbie runner user. Would be good to see a screenshot of your workout from runner prior to your runs, which I don't know why I haven't thought of it before, but yeah, I really like this idea. Thank you for commenting. So today we're going to do exactly that. We're going to go to train and I'm doing a screen recording of this as well. So you can kind of see what I've done. So this week after the Yu Yang Tower, you can see I've done a full body endurance session uh, Tuesday 800 meter to 400 meter intervals that was very 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 tough I'll have a video of that coming up if it hasn't already Wednesday I even incorporated some strength work at the gym in that in that video or the video coming up whenever I decide to get that going Wednesday yesterday's run was very hard probably more mentally I think living where I am got to me a bit and yeah I'm not going to spoil too much but <laughs> yeah it was certainly interesting but today I've hopefully got some new pound enthusiasm and we've got Thursday half easy half tempo so I think I accidentally told the app that I'm finished so six kilometers at 530 per kilometer pace then going into six kilometers at five minutes kilometer pace with a one kilometer cool down at conversational pace and today coach ben is saying when it comes to race day you should try to avoid what's called a positive split where you get slower by getting out too fast today's session should help prepare you to race a negative split getting faster throughout the race by practicing accelerating halfway through the session. Now this one sounds really good and it almost feels like a more natural kind of run today. It's no jumping up and down erratically. So I'm hoping I can actually pull this one off relatively easily. So let's get into today's video. I'm going to go warm up. I've had a pre-workout, which is probably why I'm so good today. <laughs> I've got my carbon shoots on today and I'm thinking today I might listen to some heavy metal. <laughs> Why not? Have a great one guys. See you in the video. So whenever I wear these shoes, I swear the shoelaces just have to come undone and it's right after the first kilometre ticked over, managed to 528. So that was a great effort for the first K. Um, I can get back down into the target zone for this kilometre, I'll be happy. And then try and get back to the 530s. I'm just going to record a little bit at the start of each kilometre for you and go from there, let you know my progress. Kilometre two, 541. I did look and I was in the target zone for a bit but then I felt like I was going too fast so I just cruised and I took a dip back out again but that's okay currently doing a 532 hoping I get a good sense of uh, relaxation over the next 4Ks before the hard part starts, <laughs> already out of breath. <laughs> so, let's go. Whoops, I just ran a 510. I was looking at my average pace and it was saying 527. Good morning. And I thought that was the pace for the kilometer. But that's a no, I thought the target zone reset. <laughs> on my watch each lap so that explains a lot for the Yu Yangs 
<sighs> anyway, let's slow it down. I'm not doing five tens for the whole run, but it gives me a bit of confidence for the last six k's before the cool down. Hello. <sighs> 520 for the last kilometer. I thought I slowed it down enough to do a 530. <sighs> Obviously not. Well, that's okay. If anything, we'll just make it harder at the end of the run. <sighs> so it'll be a good challenge come my marathon. Oh, not marathon. <laughs> Half marathon in a few weeks. I'm running the same loop yesterday when I wasn't feeling great. I thought if I could replace it with a nice happy energetic run, then I'll feel better and stronger for it. So, so far, I feel pretty damn good. It's hard still, but I'm still going. Matt. What the hell are you doing? You're looking at the pace and it's still too fast. <sighs> okay. The bottom one is lap pace. That's really not wrong. <sighs> 522. Well, that's okay. I'm just doing what I can. This is the uh, last 530. Sorry, it's a bit close to my face there. And then, two to the six, um, five minute pace, okay. So, let's go boys. Oh, 29, that was excellent. Especially with the hills. Anyway, this might be the hardest section with uh, the road. So I'm trying to bank some time at the start. So, let's focus. Get this one done, Matt. There's only one more hard section. First kilometer, 502. Having a quick drink. I was running at 450 for the most of it, and once I got through the hard section, I tapered off a lot. So I'm pretty happy with a 502 uh, right now. Same 516 because of the water break. 508, yeah baby. Let's make sure this one's under five. Go. 456 for that last K. And it's not gonna happen here. I just wanna get through this one. Oh, that hill took it completely out of me. Oh, almost would have been better walking up it. I had my watch said I was slowing down to 6.30s. I managed to 539. And by the time I got to the top of the hill, till now, I was doing about 5505 pace. A couple more k's to go, Matt, then cool down. Potentially less than 10 minutes, eh? 517. This is my last kilometer. Time to dig deep. Get it done in under five. One more. One more. Hmm. Oh, what an almighty push that was. Four minutes 53. For that kilometer. So now I get to walk and cool down, little jog, and rejoice. So I think this is a much better outcome than the what do you call it? Run yesterday, the recovery run. So as soon as I got to that hill, my uh, glutes were on fire, legs didn't want to go. So I think I really need to recover today. No more running until Saturday, which is a 
4K run, I think. Really? That feels so good. I'm going to walk to the top of this block here and then from there it's about 800 metres to get back home. So a nice slow shuffle just to get back. It's a nice park here. Oh, I need more like it. I think I'm in that post euphoric, hey my workout's done phase. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I like this moment. You just, it's calm, it's quiet. You can hear the magpies, even the young juvenile ones over there. Glad they're not swooping anymore. <laughs> oh, let me know what you think of today's video. I'm pretty happy with it. At least for the workout perspective. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of the paces I needed for pretty much all the kilometers. But I still finished faster than what I started, which is the main goal. <laughs> oh. Have a great day, everyone. Stay strong, you've got this. <sighs> I need to think of more catchphrases for myself. But for those that don't know, stay strong, you've got this, is something that I always say to people. I could say it so much, I've got it tattooed on my... my arms there it's my motivation when running with people at park run and other events i said i was going to jog from this point onwards so let's have a slow shuffle just to get back home thank you all have a great day